Now, the idea of toys coming to life has always been a popular trope in music and literature. Susan Lim is a Singaporean surgeon and academic with an interest in the interaction of humans and robots and ideas of loneliness and how new technologies can assist. She co-created a piece called The Fantasy of Companionship for Piano and Orchestra, which grew out of an original idea for a musical and was recorded with the London Symphony Orchestra at Abbey Road Studios. It's just been released by Signum Records. So the story is about the future of companionship between human men and animals. For me, the issue of companionship takes centre stage. As you know, in the UK, a, a Ministry of Loneliness was established in 2018. So this really is a big public challenge. And at the same time, all around us, there is new and disruptive technology and that's giving rise to a whole new breed of companions previously unimaginable. And guess what? There's even robotic orchestral conductors. What this is doing, it's it's kind of blurring the lines between what is life and what is non-life. And the public at large really are not friendly with artificial intelligence and robots because they are perceived as a threat to their jobs. And so what I wanted to do was to open this whole topic up of the future of companionship between human and inanimate as a global conversation and how else would I do it but through music. So how does that story become this fantasy of companionship piece for piano and orchestra? In essence, the story is at the core. It's a futuristic partnership between human and inanimate and the journey of a soul. Your original idea was for it to become a musical. My original idea was, yes. I mean, it started as a script. I don't think I'm a good writer. I wrote it a couple of times and I thought, no, no one's going to read my story. And in fact, the words, the storyline is written in lyrics. And the lyrics themselves have inspired the various tracks of the Lim Fantasy. six acts in the fantasy and the fantasy is 32 minutes and each of the acts tells a different journey so in brief act one is about the origins of the inanimate then act two opens up in a world of inanimates living side by side with humans each in their own separate worlds until a pair heads off to college Three is about the development of the companionship. It's about reminiscence and romance and the enduring relationship which blossoms over time. Act four is transitional. Time has stood still for it. Whilst the human has grown and blossomed into a young lady, a doctor, the inanimate faces the fact that its body has wizened with time. It is exposed to synthetic DNA, it's exposed to the new science, the new technologies, and it starts to crave 
and demand the new science to repair its wizened form. Right up to here, it doesn't have a voice. And so therefore, the fantasy is uh, the inanimate communicating via music, and I think brilliantly, especially by the piano playing of our soloist, Ted Josephson. It is only in Act 6, with the new science of artificial intelligence, of synthetic DNA, and of quantum entanglement, that the inanimate finds its voice. When it came to recording it then, yes. you went for a human orchestra with a human conductor, there are no robots? I'll have to confess, I did a lot of research into the one robot conductor that does exist with a Swiss company, but it wasn't, it wasn't a task that they were willing to take on because I think the robot conductor had only performed once. But I was really happy with what we had. I mean, we had a, a beautiful 78-member orchestra. It was just mind-blowing. We had 36 beautiful voices from the London Voices. And then we had a rock band. I'm, I'm not sure if you, if you know that we had a rock band, electric guitar, electric bass, percussions, and drums. And in a way, Susan, I mean, the idea of toys coming to life is as old a story yes. in music and in literature yes. as, as time itself. And it could be because there is some underlying truth. For me, this is a fantasy and it's science fiction. But for me, as a surgeon, I've seen in my career of 30 years, science fiction become fact. For example, I, as a transplant surgeon, I have his organs and I put these organs into live people and bestow life. I'm part of a team that prints organs using human and synthetic parts. These are all things that belong to science fiction, but, you know, over time, it, some of it's become facts. I really don't discount that with advances in artificial intelligence that one day robots and our inanimates and toys will become companions, never to replace humans, but really to complement humans because there is so much loneliness today in society. Dr. Susan Lim, it's a pleasure to talk to you. It's a brilliant idea, a beautiful piece, and the very best luck with it. Thank you so much. Thank you, John. Dr. Susan Lim and the Lim Fantasy of Companionship for Piano and Orchestra composed by Manu Martin and featuring pianist Ted Josselson alongside the London Symphony Orchestra is out now on Signum Records.